All right, today we're going to show you how to assemble one of our uh, hose ends to a steel braided Teflon lined hose. Um, what I mean by that is if you look inside the hose, there's actually a Teflon lining, not a rubber lining like some of our other braided hose. Uh, this hose is good for power steering, high pressure applications. Um, it also withstands E85 and alcohol fuel very well. Um, so anyway, let's get right to it. So this is a PRE-40600. It's a steel fitting. Um, to take it apart, you got your socket here and you got your furl. Um, so the way this line works is um, it uses a compression style fitting. So when you get your hose in, it's going to look uh, it's going to look like this, where it's squished down a little bit from cutting. And if you cut it too, you're going to squish it down some. So what you'll do is just take a simple pin, uh, stick down inside of it, and just kind of get it back to its round shape. All right, now you'll take this furl and you put the furl between the braid and the Teflon. Okay, so once you insert it, it'll look like that. Okay, so also keep in mind there's a little lip inside, so you don't want the Teflon to go over top of the lip. Um, you want it to just sit inside the lip. Um, now, I have skipped a step, so let me back up a little bit here. You actually want to put the nut on first for the socket. So drop the socket onto the braid. Okay, so now that you got that on there, round this back out again. Put your furl onto the Teflon hose. Alright, so now you have an assembly that looks like that. So then you'll take You'll take this part here, and this goes inside, okay? So you work that till it's inside. Then you'll take and push it down. All right, so now that'll bottom out just like that. Then you'll bring your socket up and simply tighten that down. And then uh, this is a steel fitting, so you can use a vise. You don't have to have the aluminum jaws. Um, you don't have to have the aluminum wrenches um, you can use them but you don't have to but uh, basically all you'll do is you'll grab two two adjustables and you'll just tighten it right up um, you don't want to put a little more tightening on that you want to tighten it down pretty good um, but that's basically all there is to assembling it um, the, when you tighten it hard uh, or like if you put in a vise and really crank down on it that's what crushes that compression so you'll want to do that um, I just don't have a vise with me right now to show you that. And then also, we do offer them in aluminum as well. So if you want a red and blue look or a black aluminum, we have those. Um, it's the same part number. It's a PRE-40600. You just put an A after it for aluminum, and that would be blue and red. And then you put a BLK behind it for black. So it would be a 40600 BLK for the black fitting. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks for tuning in.